My question is to the Prime Minister. How is the Albanese Labor government working to improve access to affordable housing and why has the Housing Australia Future Fund failed to pass? Give the call to the Prime Minister. I thank the member for Gilmore for her question. And of course, the government does have a comprehensive plan for housing and we've been acting. Just on Saturday, we announced our $2 billion social housing accelerator. And we want that to add to our $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund, which has failed to pass the Senate. I was heartened to see this morning a media release, Mr Speaker. It came across my desk today and it said this, Greens set to negotiate with government on housing bill. Said the Greens are ready to negotiate in good faith to get the public, community and affordable housing Australia desperately needs. And I thought, you beauty, Mr Speaker, they've woken up to themselves. But then I saw the date on the bottom, the 4th of October 2022. Since then, it's been clear there's no good faith here, Mr Speaker. Just a political party driven by self-interest, which is prepared to declare in writing, in writing, this parliamentary conflict helps create the space for a broader campaign. That's prepared to declare. While Parliament has debated the half, the Greens have also launched a national door knocking campaign targeted at Labor held federal electorates. That's prepared to declare in writing. Allowing the half to pass would demobilise the growing section of civil society that is justifiably angry about the degree of poverty and financial stress that exists in such a wealthy country. So, faced, faced with being in parliament and in a position to actually try and address poverty and financial stress, they declare in writing that they would demobilise the movement against poverty and financial stress. So, therefore, Therefore, they block the Housing Australia Future Fund. Now, Australians rejected the pathology of political conflict that had defined the Morrison government, always looking for an argument, never looking for a solution. But Australians will also reject the phony political conflict being waged by the Greens political party. You can't say you support, you support public housing while you're voting against it. You can't say that you're serious about protecting vulnerable people in our society whilst you're voting against public housing. Vulnerable people should not be the collateral damage in your manufactured political conflict. Time to stop blocking so we can start building.